this year we decided to partner with two different organizations. In fact, we're doing two murals instead of one. One is an educational institution and the other uh, institution that is about uh, creating peace and safety in the lives of women. We are trying to connect the Benedictine values to our community and the people that we live and work with. So in December, we physically started going into Harbor City and into Safe Haven and start, started really the ideation phase. We were fortunate enough with the grant we received to be able to invite in visiting artist Shauna Gilmore. It's really a all hands on deck kind of community project. Starting February 1st, we were able to rent out the Pro for the whole month due to the Arrowhead Regional Arts Council grant. I really like the idea of the murals and how they're kind of connected together even though they're totally different. They're going to totally different places and they're totally different concepts. Just the act of somebody like thinking of us and making this mural and, in, and involving so many people from the community. Community isn't like a big enough word to really describe how cool that is. And so we were at Prove all the way through February, and then starting in March, the murals moved up to Scholastica. These are collaborative pieces. Um, I think so far, like over 200 people have painted on them, um, which is really awesome, but it's also uh, sometimes hard because usually when you're making a, a piece of art, it's you're doing 100% of the work and you can look at it and be like, I made this, you know, and some days you'll work on something for a long time on the mural and come back the next day and like somebody else finished what you were working on or took it in a different direction, which can sometimes be hard because you all have your own vision of what you're trying to achieve, but that's also the coolest part. It's not just one person's interpretation. Um, everything kind of changes every time somebody new picks up a paintbrush. I found it to be actually really inspiring because things that I wouldn't have imagined um, transform it completely in a, for the better. The real art, I think, happens in that collaboration and the conversations that happen between students, that between artists, in the making of it. Oh, it's been so fun to just see how engaged the students are. They're, they're very interested in the process of it, and they're such creative kids. And they're such hands-on kids. I just don't remember having that in my, my high school experience. I think it was really cool to get everybody involved instead of having it be like these few artistic people who are painters all the time. I think it's cool to get people who don't usually do things like this. The symbols won't be very noticeable at first so you have to study it but that's type of one of the things that I feel represents the students because as when you see us you just see us as a student body but once you study the school and the student body more you realize we're all individuals and special in our own way. I mean the project itself just looking at it I mean there's just so much symbolism and deep meaning there that you know really um, highlights people who, you know, survive through situations that are challenging in life. So at Safe Haven, this will be in their conference room. We're really trying to bring something that will benefit them and will give them all these sorts of things that um, we need. Um, the whole thing is very water related and water is just kind of supposed to um, represent um, diversity. So instead of seeing hands that are a certain color of skin, you see hands that are made of something that all humans are made of. When I heard the idea of making a mural, it was just like, oh, this is going to be really cool. I get to learn more about the school. And I feel like everyone else that's worked on it that goes to Harbor City will feel the same way. I hope that, like, especially for the ones going to our school, that people will like look at it and they'll think about our student body and stuff. The thing that I would like more than anything for people to take away from this project and from these murals is that art is for everybody. That art is a connecting force. It's a vitally important space with which people can understand each other more and experience life in a broader and more rich way.